Got this new lens, 1500. Put it on this. Put this on that. On the good one. And this Ford F2 shitty. This one. A little high MD. A little bit four. I'm gonna do this shit and show y'all what it looks like after. Alright, y'all. Here's the before. As you can tell, it's wet. But it is hazy as hell. Like when you apply water to it, obviously it makes it a little bit better looking. There's the before, here's the after. Dangle, linga, 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 linga. When you're using the 1500, you gotta do it like really fast. Keep this cool and wet. If not, I'll go right through it. But I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna do these big yellows. You guys see a huge difference. All right, y'all. So you want to keep this wet. So let's soak this beach up. Just show y'all. That's the before when it's wet. That's the after when it's dry. Looks the same, but that shit's clear. This shit's hazy. So basically all you got to do, dab this shit. You want to get this super wet. And then you want to go really fast. I'm going to do that off camera. Just so that way I can do it good. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. This is 1500 grit. And I'm going to move up to 3000. Then we're going to polish it. All right, y'all. So this is out there. 1500 and 3000. It's going to look heavily oxidized and faded and shit. That's what you want. That means that you got a good coverage on the whole entire thing and then we're gonna polish it polish <laughs> big dog so we got some uh black stuff right here probably blood bug guts i won't be able to save those because that's condensation on the inside those ones are good down there these are good down here that one's all right so it's just the headlights they're super yellow oxidized hazy so you just want to keep it wet and then Keep that sandpaper moving. Don't hold it in one spot, you'll burn right through the damn plastic. All right, so I can't really show this part on camera because I need both hands for this yeetie motherfucker. So this is 1500 on a new pad. I'm gonna do 3000 and then the polish. All right, y'all, so this is after 1000 grit. We already got a 3K on, got water on it. Look at all that water. So we're just back and forth for like maybe two to three minutes and then get ready for polishing 3000 grit won't scratch it actually polishes and it removes the 1500 grit sand scratches so yeah just keep on doing it like this make sure you go fast <coughs> oh yeah but I'm gonna finish this off camera and show you guys what it looks like when I get done polishing it. All right, y'all, got done with the 3000 grit. It's looking hella better. I mean, it's a little bit more clearer. This is what it used to look like. That's dry. That's dry. This is dry, but it's been sanded. The longer you spend with the, uh, the 1500 grit, you get the whole thing oxidized and hazy looking. And then the more time you spend with the 3000 grit, It'll come out better, but the longer you spend on this damn thing, polishing it, it's going to make it more clearer. So I'm going to do this, both hands, 
get it done and show you guys what it looks like. It's gonna look amazing. I might do my mom's headlights too with the 3000 grit and then polishing, or I might just go ahead and polish because hers are not really oxidized. They're just, they're starting to, to get a little wonky. But yeah, let's finish this up, show you guys what it looks like when it's done. There it wasn't on the one that was on here. He took it off and put it on his truck. So I had to buy another one, but he gave me the old one. So I took the new one. All right, y'all. So this is with the 1500 grit right here. Spent a little bit more time on this one because this one didn't come out how I like. So I'm spend more time with the 1500 to see if I can make a little difference. I can tell like right in here and stuff. You can actually see it and feel it. I might spend a little bit more time sanding this crap down. I don't know why it's got these lines in it though. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over to the 3000 grit. And yeah, I'm just dunking it in some water. Get it sanded down and I'm gonna polish it. And then when my mom gets back, I might polish her headlights as well. I might fuck around and do the grill, just polishing it. 3000 grit actually polishes. I'll show you guys real quick. Damn, dude. That makes a world of difference. You probably can't even tell that well. We're gonna go like right here. Yeah, damn. That's cool as hell. Anyway, man, they circled the problem. Fucked over rebuilt Dodge. We gonna hit it up with the 3K and get this damn thing a shining. All right, guys, just got done with the 3000. It looks amazing, but the drill just died. So I'm gonna have to manually do that. <laughs> this, this is gonna suck, but I'm used to doing shit by hand. But these headlights came out really good. They were all pitted and oxidized, hazy as hell. Just like the damn, just like these. These were actually yellow, but these headlights look like that. And because these ones are obviously way worse, they didn't come out as clear. But I spent more time on that one than I did this one, just because I wanted to see if I spent more time on it with the 1500, if it would come out better. But it looks like, like, you'd have to sit there and sand at it for a long ass time to get all the pitting out of it. But I'm gonna do this by hand. See what we got. This is about doing that bitch by hand. Motherfucker came out good. As opposed to this one. Yeah, let's say we got a W. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna do in this video, bro. <laughs> this truck's a piece of shit. Look at that. <laughs> Damn, Jeff. Ain't gonna hold me up. Yeah, I don't know what my uncle's gonna do with it. He said he might port it out. I don't know. It's a 2002 uh, Pina Stroke V8 Diesel XLT Super Duty F2 Shitty. It's got the, uh, what do you say? It's got a, it doesn't have the 6.4 or 6.0 or whatever the fuck. It's got the good one. Shut up. He says it's got the good en engine in it and it's got a Garrett turbo on it. So if any of you guys would be interested in this piece of shit, let me know. It's up here in Ohio. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, bed's all fucked up on it. But I don't know what my uncle's gonna do with it. So that's as much as I'm gonna show you guys. But look at this shit. That shit look good, dude. That came out good. The neighbor's wife keeps staring at me, so I felt uncomfortable. She's probably thinking about me naked. But, damn. Noise. Noise. Anyway, you guys like this video, give it a big old fat thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. They're going to come over this way. They're going to come this way. Go use your shotgun. They always do. They always do. <laughs>
There's four of them. Oh, there's three. There's four. Right there. Yeah. Yep, two right there. One right there. One right there. They're all does. They're all does. Billy, that's a mating call. <laughs> Here, just give me the nine real fast. I'll pop them. Pop, pop. You hear me, Michael? Huh? Give me the nine, I'll go get them. <laughs> Watch, this will act. This will come right behind here. This one's looking at us. Watch, they'll be right behind us. Don't move. Right behind the barn, right down behind the dog. He's going to go back there and lay down. <laughs>